For Moshe Neumann, love for art and paintings was a motivation towards venturing into creative interior designing. In the very beginning, we started classic moldings because of the uh, uh, idea given to us by a manufacturer of cornices, of moldings. I've always been dealing with art, and when I was actually as a, an Israeli boy, uh, or elder boy, when uh, the, the certain manufacturer in uh, Europe told me, hey, Buana, we are manufacturing also this thing, and they try to explain to me what moldings is, that's how the moldings or cornices were, were introduced to us. Kenya's real estate sector has been robust over the past decade with an average year-on-year -year growth rate of between 5 to 6 percent. This has in turn helped entities like Classic Moldings to thrive. There is an outstanding development that you don't see in many other countries. We have introduced many, many basic and important things in interiors in Kenya. If it's the, the plasterboard introduction to Kenya, moldings that are of a proper standard or high standard and the uh, decorative paints and all these things. So I think that we help, we actually enjoy, of course, the, the extreme growth in Kenya, but uh, the growth enjoys us very much because we help turning places to outstanding and international standards. Moshe's main challenge has been to get specialized personnel in various interior works, ranging from special painting techniques, wall coverings, to design and constructions, amongst others. What we realize that when you bring high standard equipment, tools, and uh, materials, creative materials, if you don't have proper, amazing artisans that can implement it, it will look shabby. In our creativity, we uh, uh, make people who fought against dripping rain in the house, and these people are now creating posh effects on walls that uh, uh, in the, it was very, very difficult even to explain to them why, how to make a distressed looking wall and why would it look good? It has changed my life, that's what I would say, because I was an artistic person, but I didn't have really a direction in what I was doing. And when I came across this company, that's about seven years ago, it really changed my life, because what happened is once I got involved into it, I came in as an applicator, I was trained on how to do applications, I've moved in from application to real installation in the houses, and from there back here again, now as a trainer. To address these concerns, the firm offers training to freelance painters at no cost. And what you're doing is trying to give them like a start into something that they can do because you get some people who are always working with their papers and you're always looking for what you trained for. But all I want to tell you is create a niche for yourself. Like come in here, we'll train you. There are so many opportunities out there. There are jobs that you can be able to do. And anyone who is good with their hands, you're not trying to limit them. We're trying, come on, we will train. So long as you're good with your hands, we're not looking at your education level and all that. We bring them in and we train them. This has notably contributed to the firm's second bottom line through corporate social responsibility, in turn helping improve livelihoods of the trainees while raising the bar on quality in the industry. We have different levels of applicators and when you begin from the beginning of the lowest level then as we monitor the progress of the work that you're doing now and we see you're doing a good work you're consistent with what you're doing we will stamp it up for that specific application if it's terra caravaggio if it's for example it's zephyro we will certify you for that then as you qualify for higher applications and more complex applications again we continue certifying it for you as an entrepreneur, Moshe stresses on the importance of any fledgling entrepreneur to commit to their business ideas and leap forward to making the startup a reality. Not to think about the money gain, to think about self-development, to think about the pride they will gain by being entrepreneurs and how much they are willing to uh, do for it. Th this is the basic thing. You know, and then a, a dream should be realistic.